All right, guys, this is Zach with Dream Media. We just wrapped up this project and I want to show you what we got here. So we have a Sonos Play Bar in the living room and we got a few in-ceiling speakers as well that are tied into the Sonos system. And we did a universal remote system for the customer. They got a few to choose from. In the living room, we did a Pro 24R one button press touchscreen remote. All they have to do is walk in here and hit one button, either DirecTV, Apple TV, or Xbox, and it'll fire everything up, turn it all to the correct input for them. Very easy to operate. We cleaned all of the wiring up here behind the console. And then we did a secondary pro remote for the patio. They got Apple TV and DirecTV out there. One button press, very easy to operate. And then all the components are down in here. You can see they have a Niles speaker selector and amplifier with a Sonos Connect tied into that, which is right back here. Sonos Connect amps for a few in-ceiling zones throughout the home, as well as another Sonos Connect, Apple TV, a binary switcher, the Pro Link R, and a few Direct TV boxes. Oh, and I almost forgot, there's also a sub over in this room. So I'm gonna show you some of the other rooms that we did. So this room, this is an older home and you can see there's no way for us to get wiring into this room because there's no attic access. So I just threw a little play one over here in the corner. 200 bucks, can't beat it. Now they have audio over here. And we did this for all of these rooms where they're kind of constrained on where they can put wiring in without completely gutting the ceiling. If you look here, we got a Sonos play bar. The Swan Virginia passes. You guys know I love Sonos. They're just plug and play, super easy. So now this customer has like 20 zones to choose from. They also have surround sound now in their master bedroom. Rear left and rear right. Back here. And then in the bathroom. Everybody needs music in the bathroom. I tell you guys um, all the time that uh, it's quality of life. You gotta have it. We also did a couple other zones upstairs. I'm not gonna run up there right now, but they're just Sonos Play 1s, and then there's a theater room up there as well, which I'll kind of do a second phase to this video because that's not really part of the Sonos system. So as part of the Sonos system, we have a couple weatherproof speakers out here as a stereo zone as soon as you walk out so you can hang out here and have dinner and just have these speakers on without disturbing the neighbors. So. Very nice, but in this particular situation, you can see this is a giant backyard, right? So we went kind of crazy. Rock speaker, rock speaker, rock speaker, rock speaker. And then back here, rock speaker, rock speaker. You gotta have independent zone control, guys. It's makes a well-balanced system sound awesome. So uh, if you look over here, we also have independent, just the kitchen area out here under the gazebo. So another stereo zone. Grilling out, listening to your music. You can also pipe in these guys here. So there's a few different ways you can do this. I put in a Sunbright TV, uh, out, true outdoor TV, and what's nice is that the customer can either have the audio from the football game going throughout all these speakers just in here, or the customer can have the, the speakers going with like music, and then they can have the game going as a visual. It's really cool the way you can orientate um, and uh, manipulate the different zones. Um, I think what they're going to use probably most of the time is football game on the TV and then they can pair together all of these speakers out here in the backyard as music, which is what I like to do in my own home as well. So I'm going to take you guys inside and show you the actual operating system, the Sonos app itself. So give me just one moment. Okay, so here's my iPad, check it out. We have the master bathroom, the master bedroom, the pool, the gazebo kitchen, the back porch, and even the gazebo TV player. We got the garage on there. If you're in the garage, you know, working on something, you can crank the tunes. Or if your kid's in the driveway playing basketball with their friends, they can even pipe their music in there. All independently controllable. This is why I love Sonos. We also have the family ceiling. We have uh, the formal living, the family room, and then a couple extra speakers that can kind of be floaters throughout the rooms. So as I was saying, what's really cool is that you have your different music sources. You can see they have the TuneIn, Pandora, Songza, SoundCloud, Spotify, TV, and then line in. So 
let me talk about line in a little bit guys so line in is a physical device that's plugged into the sono system so you heard me earlier talking about how they can have the football game going throughout the whole house well there's a few different ways you can do that you can either have like a Sonos play bar hooked up to your TV, digital audio out, optical, or you can have analog audio into a Sonos Connect amp or a Sonos Connect. In this situation, these are analog inputs. So the garage is actually for a 3.5 headphone jack, like old school, you wanted to just plug in a phone. It's nice to have sometimes. The other option is the gazebo kitchen. And that's what I was telling you about earlier, where you can select the direct TV box to have play throughout the entire yard or one particular area of the yard. This is just a overview of the Sono system and kind of a quick look. We even have my favorites where you can just set things that automatically play. You set playlists and you hit one button and it streams throughout the entire home. You guys know I love Sonos. You guys know you love Sonos. If you would like us to do a project like this for you and you live in the Dallas area, just give me a call or shoot me an email. If you don't live in Dallas, still give me a call or shoot me an email because we can ship these items to you. Free shipping anywhere in the US and we have a low price guarantee. Guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Make sure to subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching.